The future of Star Wars has changed yet again, and I've got a theory that this sudden movie announcement is an indicator that something big is on the horizon. When the activist director Charmaine Obey Chinoy made her inflammatory comments on CNN this past weekend, there were some people, me included, who were wondering, why is this happening now? Actors and directors usually only talk to the media when they're doing press tours. Exactly. There was no reason to talk about this now. Unless something was going on. Well, two things come immediately to mind. One, she's already proven herself to be quite the clout chaser, and she was itching for another hit of that sweet, sweet attention. Or she was aware of something already going on at Lucasfilm behind the scenes that was putting her film in danger. Like no one wants a Ray movie? Well, duh, there is that. But if she thought that her film was in danger, she might have thought that adding some hype back into the project might turn the tide back in her favor. <laughs> it's a move KK has done before. For all we know, KK told her to do it. So she reached out to CNN for the interview. Either way, she was not speaking in an official capacity on behalf of Disney or Lucasfilm, and the move blew up in her face. Consequently, Lucasfilm responded. The Mandalorian and Grogu are embarking on a new adventure to movie theaters. Directed by John Favreau and produced by Favreau, Kathleen Kennedy and Dave Filoni, The Mandalorian and Grogu will go into production in 2024. So they're pushing the Ray movie. Right you are, Doge. I have loved telling stories set in the rich world that George Lucas created, said Favreau. The prospect of bringing the Mandalorian and his apprentice Grogu to the big screen is extremely exciting. <sighs> John Favreau and Dave Filoni have ushered into Star Wars two new and beloved characters, and this new story is a perfect fit for the big screen, added Kathleen Kennedy, president of Lucasfilm. <laughs> Somehow I doubt she actually said that. Keen eye, my friend. The timing is impossible to ignore given what happened this past weekend. And for the full story, we have that for you here. Star Wars movie announcements are big spectacles, usually reserved for events like D23 or Star Wars Celebration. But this was a quickie slapdash announcement on StarWars.com. What? Along with the extremely brief statement, we also get what looks like to me to be an AI-generated promotional pic. It's clearly based on another real pic and just doesn't look quite right. But that's neither here nor there. They're in hurry up damage control mode. I totally get it. They get a pass. The press release wraps up by saying the Mandalorian and Grogu will lead Lucasfilm's ongoing feature development slate, including films held by Charmino Bay Chinoy, James Mangold, and Dave Filoni, who is currently developing Ahsoka Season 2 among those in the works. So this is Iger stepping in again. He has to be, given the way that K.K. What are you doing here? As you were saying... Given the way that KK butted into Season 3 of The Mandalorian and ruined it, Favreau had had enough, going as far as to have his character symbolically killed off by sequel trilogy Praetorian Guards. So how could Iger entice him back? That's the big question, because we know, at a minimum, he would only agree to come back unless he had complete creative control over the film. No interference from she who will not be named. <laughs> but she's listed as still being a producer. That's more of a contract thing due to her role as head of Lucasfilm. It doesn't mean she's actually going to have a direct influence on the film. You think complete creative control was all it took to win him back? I don't actually, and here is my big theory. Granted, this is all just pure speculation on my part, but don't forget that the contract for she who will not be named <laughs> is up around August, I believe. You think Iger promised him the keys to the kingdom? It's a distinct possibility, and he would actually be a perfect choice, even if it's a short-term thing until the company is straightened out. Disney stock would also see a massive spike if he were named the next head of Lucasfilm. Besides just making good movies and making money again, you know that's at the forefront of Iger's mind given the civil war with the shareholders he's got going on right now. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments and stay fresh, cheese bags. Are you fresh? <laughs>